Today we're going to be learning about time and how we can look at a clock and see what time is it. Okay, are you ready? Yes, yes we, we are. are. Okay, so here we have our clock. Now, do you remember the different parts of the clock? So we have our face. Face. We have our our hand our hand and the our hand is short we have our minute hand minute hand and our minute hand is long long and we have our second hand second hand now can you see what is missing from our clock hmm we have no numbers so we're going to learn where are the numbers on the clock okay are you ready Yes, we are. Let's go. So as you can see, we have different points around our clock. Okay, so we're going to look at what numbers go where on our clock. So we're going to start with the number one. Now, if you look at our clock, can you see where is the number one? Ta-da! One. One. So we're going to look at the face of our clock and see where can we put the number one. Okay. One. One. Okay, what's next? Hmm. Ta da! And we have the number two. Two. So we're going to look at our clock face and see where is the number two? Two. Two. Okay, what's next? Ta da! Three. Three. So we're going to look at our clock and see where is the number three. 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 Okay, what's next? Ta-da! Four. Four. So look at our clock. Where is the number four? There it is. Four. Four. Okay, what's next? Ta-da! Five. Five. So let's look at our clock face and see where is the number five. There it is. Five. Five. What's next? Ta-da! Six. Six. So we're going to look at the clock and see where is the number six. As you can see, number six is at the bottom of our clock. So that's where we're going to put six. 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 What's next? Ta-da! Seven. Seven. Okay, so we're going to look at our clock and see where is the number seven? There it is. Seven. Seven. What's next? Ta-da! Eight. Eight. So let's look at our clock and see where is the number eight? And number eight goes here. Eight. Eight. Okay, what's next? Ta-da! Nine. Nine. So let's look at our clock and see where is the number nine. There it is. Nine. Nine. 
Okay, what's next? Ta-da! Ten. Ten. So look at our clock and see where is the number ten. It goes here. Ten. Ten. What's next? Ta-da! Eleven. Eleven. So we're going to look at our clock and where does eleven go? Here. Eleven. Eleven. And what's next? This is our last number on the clock. Ta-da! Here we have the number twelve. Twelve. And twelve is at the top in the middle of our clock. So the number twelve is at the top. Twelve. Twelve. So that's all of our numbers that go around our clock. And with the numbers and the hands, we can tell what time is it. So now we're going to look at some different times that we find on the clock. Okay, and how do our hands move? So first thing we have our second hand. And our second hand goes the fastest around our clock. And once the second hand has gone around our clock one time, our minute hand can move. Okay, and then once our minute hand has gone around the clock one time, our our hand can move okay so the second hand is the fastest and our hand is the slowest okay now we're going to look at how our hands on our clock move and how that affects what time we can see on the clock now one thing that we need to remember is that our hands move in a clockwise direction so our hands always move in a clockwise direction. Okay, now we're going to see what happens when we move our hands. Okay, so as you can see, here we have our clock. And our hands move around and around. So this is our minute hand. And once our minute hand moves around one full circle, then our hour hand moves one number, okay? So if our minute hand can go all the way around, as you can see, our hour hand moves one number. So if our minute hand goes round one more time, what number do you think our green short hour hand will be on? Hmm, let's see. So now our green hand is pointing to the number one. And if our minute hand goes around one more time, what number do you think our green, our hand will point to? Okay, so we have our long minute hand pointed up to the number 12 and our hour hand pointing to the number one. Now this is one o'clock. One o'clock. Now if our minute hand moves around one more time, we're going to see what time does our clock show. Okay, so now we have our minute hand pointing up and our green hand pointing to two, and we call this two o'clock. Two o'clock. So if our minute hand moves around one more time, what time do you think it's going to be? Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Okay, so that's how we can tell the time. Now, as our minute hand keeps going round, our time changes. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. What time do you think it is? Good job, it is five o'clock. Five o'clock. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Ten 
10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. And that's how we can tell the time on our clocks. Okay, and now we have our worksheet for today. And this says, trace and color the clock. Draw on a minute hand and an hour hand. Write the correct time in the space below. Okay, and then you're going to trace the clock. You're going to write that on your own. Trace. Trace. The. The. Clock. Clock. Okay, so we're going to trace around our clock in the shape of a circle. And then you're going to trace the numbers around the clock. And we're going to point our minute hand up to 12. Okay. And that gives us an o'clock. And your hour hand, you're going to point to another number. Okay. Now remember, whatever hour hand it points to, we're going to write 300. Zero zero. If you want it to be 3 o'clock, if you want your hour hand to point to 6, you can write Six zero zero six o'clock. Okay, and when you're finished, you're going to put your number in the top corner and then don't forget to take a photo so that me and Teacher Bo can see your beautiful work. Okay, good job today, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye.